So I've tried quite a few pairs of Hoka sneakers in the past, and these two are actually pretty decent ones right here. This is probably my favorite, the Clifton Nines, and then we have the Bondies as well, or the Bondies. I still can never get the name right. But we have a new model today that was sent over by Hibbit City Gear, and this is the model right here. This is a Transport. I got a 9.5, and this is a uh, true size for myself, usually in Hoka's. I sometimes do get the wide versions. However, I don't think they offer a wide in this one yet. I will tell you just right off the bat after trying them on, if they did have a wide version, I probably would try it out. And this model caught my eye over at Hibbit City Gear's website. I was checking it out and I was looking for sneakers for this month. And this video is actually going to be sponsored by Hibbit City Gear. And if you guys want to shop at Hibbit City Gear, check the link in the description. It will take you over to their website. I would highly recommend getting their app as well and focusing on the release calendar. It lets you guys know of all future uh, releases that are coming out that they get. They get quite a few different pairs of sneakers from a lot of different brands, which is why I was actually happy to see Hoka on there. And actually, fun fact, Hibbit sent me my first pair of Hoka's years and years ago and since then I've probably tried at least 10 different models from Hoka so it's all started from Hibbit so I love that we've had that long-standing relationship and happy to bring another video from Hibbit uh, again link in the description to shop over at their website but this pair first of all the images of the shoe sold me on the shoe it looked really cool it looked a little sleeker than most pairs of Hoka sneakers on the market and I'm speaking of the big dogs right here these guys are both considered probably max cushion category for Hoka really comfortable shoes for sure but it's nice to see like a sleeker different side of Hoka and this is a side that I haven't really explored too much so this is more like a trail commuter like lifestyle sort of sneaker so really right up my alley more or less especially living in Oregon so I love that there are some elements of the shoe that are branded and called out specifically on the shoe that let me know that this is like a really nice model uh, for everyday wear they have the Cordura branding as well as the Vibram uh, branding on here as well but let's go ahead and get into the words of what Hoka says about their own product these retail at $140 for those wondering and they have a handful of different colors. The gray one I really like, the black one and the olive all look really nice to be honest. It says performance minded city savvy. Conceived at an intersection of lifestyle and performance, this commuter friendly style offers a multitude of sustainability features across the outsole, midsole and upper. Designed with a city dweller in mind, the transport employs 30% sugarcane EVA midsole, a Vibram EcoStep natural outsole that uses 90% oil free components and Cordura with R-PET and I'm not really sure what that is. Plus a quick toggle lace and 360 degrees of reflectivity. So the Cordura material Material for the upper is abrasion resistance so this is going to be something that like withstands a lot more rub and wear and tear than say like maybe a regular knit pair of sneakers sometimes the knit sneakers out there rub through really easy and Cordura should be if I'm pronouncing that correctly should be a lot more durable I do like quick toggle laces they are really nice and easy it's easy just to slip on and if you do need a quick cinch down just two little steps and you're in, locked in. But if you don't like the quick toggle laces, they actually do come with a set of regular laces as well, which I think is a nice plus. I would say overall feel on feet, immediately a little bit snug for me personally, 9.5. Again, if they had a wide version, I would definitely prefer it on here. However, it was nice. It was really comfortable. Nice amount of soft squishy feel under the heel of the shoe. Definitely didn't feel like a traditional Hoka shoe. Like I tried this on next to the Clifton Nines and I was like, dude, it's just a world of difference. Now, this could be better than the Hoka 9s. It really depends on what you like for your feet. I'll tell you guys now, the Hoka 9s are a lot softer on feet. They feel a lot more cloud-like, if you will. There is a little bit of a rocking sensation in this shoe as well. Some people may prefer that. Some people may not. I personally don't like the rocking sensation. However, the cushioning in the Clifton, I actually really prefer. I love the cushioning in this. But it is really soft and squishy in comparison to the Transport, which is interesting because if you look at them side by side, the Transport looks like it has almost as much foam underfoot as a Clifton. However, I think it's a little misleading. The foam midsole really just goes up the sidewalls of the shoe and your foot kind of is in the middle of that versus the Clifton feels more underfoot than on the Transport. Now, the reason why I think that the Transport might be a better option than the Clifton's, even though I personally like the Clifton's a lot, is one, the quick laces, obviously I already mentioned that as a plus. The abrasion-free upper is gonna be more durable. And while we're talking about durable, we need to talk about the outsole because it has this Vibram outsole and it covers the majority of the outsole. So the tread and the traction is gonna be a lot better on these than the Clifton's. And then the upper durability as well is gonna be better than the Clifton's. Because the midsole is a little bit more of a firmer stack than the Clifton's, it's not firm, I would say, by any means. It's really soft and squishy, but comparison to the Clifton's, these are gonna be a little bit more stable on feet as well. So if you're looking for more of an all-around pair of sneakers, one that you can put on and really feel confident in like anywhere you're going I feel like this is going to be the better option quick laces traction durability for the upper as well as stability makes this like an all-around great package for everyday consumption now the outsole traction is not so crazy aggressive that it's like a straight-up trail shoe for that I feel like they have other models I think the speed goat 
probably is the one that I need to try next because that one looks like it is like the outdoor trail shoe with Gore-Tex and that's personally what I really like. But honestly, it's nice to be able to wear different hats and have different pairs of sneakers for different things. If you need a runner that's nice and soft and light, uh, the Clifton's is obviously a good one. The Speed Goats is definitely going to be the one for trail. If you don't want to spend your money on both of those models, this is kind of like the one-stop shop in my mind at the $140 price point. Now for this colorway, I really like too. It's all gray upper primarily, but it has a couple different tones of gray. You have few section over the laces and then a split down the middle of the shoe where there's Cordura branding on this side, but there's a darker gray in the back and a lighter gray in the front. And the material patterns are actually a little bit different on both of those. You do have a few section across the toe box, which means this is going to give it a lot more durability. And then the Hoka branding on the side of the shoe is actually really nice. I don't know what they did to it, but it's a little bit textured and it just feels nice and it pops out quite a bit. Again, traction from the tip of the toe to the back of the heel. It's very nice and you can see that it actually runs up a little bit on both sides, which gives it just extra protection. The tongue is nice and soft, which I really like. And then also the heel collar of the shoe is very nice and soft as well. Some people might like this heel style versus the Clifton's has like a large horn on the back, but this one feels a little bit more low profile than that because obviously it is low profile uh, across the top of the heel. But you do have a nice little pull tab back here if you need uh, for a little bit of extra help putting on your feet. All in all though, this is a really nice model and a really great pair of sneakers. And thank you to Hibbit City Gear for sending these over uh, per my request. It's really awesome to see these in hand, try them on feet. And now that I have them, I know this one's just gonna go straight into the garage and have a nice little rotation into my collection. Now, oddly enough, I didn't see anything on their website that said this is water resistant. However, I believe it is actually a water resistant upper, which is good and bad depending on how you look at it. So it's obviously good for me living in Oregon. The water resistance is gonna be nice. I'm gonna definitely wear these to my kids' baseball and stuff uh, next time I go. However, the downside is in the hot summer and stuff, depending on where you live, you might actually have some breathability issues with the shoe because of it being water resistant. That means it really keeps stuff out and keeps stuff locked in as well. So just putting that out there for those people that are curious about the breathability, it's not as breathable as other models, especially something like the Clifton's or something like that. These are not as breathable, but it's because of the special type of upper. And if I could nitpick one thing about the company is they should definitely say like, instead of just abrasion free, it should say like water resistant because obviously that is something worth noting. Uh, I don't know how well it holds up comparison to some of the other stuff. I'll try to leave an update in the comment section to let you guys know since I didn't do a proper water test. Anyways, that's all we have for the video. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Thank you to Hibbit City Gear for sending these over. Again, shop at their website, link in the description. If you guys like the video, please drop a like on the video and then also subscribe if you guys enjoy the content. Hopefully we'll see you guys back for some more sneaker videos very soon. All right, peace guys.